Who wouldn't want to see what we do? Anyway. <laughs> Alright guys, this morning we are going to go pick a pig pen from Attaway Customs. Uh, they just finished up the flatbed on it. I just need to grab my chain straps, go get a monster at the gas station, and then pick up a case of beer for those guys. Try to go retro on the uh, on the paint, a little matte with some gloss in it, make that satin look. Went 40 on the fenders to really wrap around wheels and tires to give us a nice fitment. And I think we'll do bags in the rear. Here's our fill neck tube. We did these as like cup holders. Put your beer can in there, whatnot. Storage. I leave mine open because my uh, my flatbed has got magnets on it, so nothing ever comes off. But he doesn't have that. These top boxes. My weld some slats in there maybe. Well, got them loaded up. Barely fits on the trailer. So, we'll see how she rides. Yeah, the Viking obviously weighs significantly more, so I wanted it kind of over the rear axles as much as possible, but not a whole lot of room to play with. I think it's safe to say this one weighs a lot more. Yeah, this bed does weigh quite a bit. Well, your truck weighs... 8,900 hey. pounds. How much does a six liter weigh? I don't know. Somewhere in the eights, probably, maybe. It's high sevens. 7,800, maybe. Something like that. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and Head on back to the shop. All right, guys. So, um, got back to the shop. Got the trucks out front. I'll have to unload them later today. But moving on to other things I got to do today. I've prepped uh, this cab. Uh, it's like 90% ready for clear coat. Basically, I have the fenders. Excuse the mess. I got the fenders done. All scuffed up. All the oxidation's been knocked down. And I got the front clip done. The other fender's sitting up over there. It's been body work, clear coat, sanding for the past week. But um, it's relatively cool out. So I'm going to try and put on... Uh, a coat on the two fenders and the front clip and see how it goes if it um, if everything lays on there nice and I get a real high gloss then I will do the cab uh, if not then I just I have to wait or do it earlier in the morning um, just because of this heat all right so I laid one coat down on these fenders and it's turning out much better than uh, the other day, but you can still see we got this haze right here with some streaks and then it Kind of shines up, but it's it's a pretty thin coat um, This one looks a lot uh, Better it's got more of a high gloss to it, but you can see there's a spot here where it just absorbed This looks pretty good On camera, I'm sure it looks a lot better, um, but I'm really looking for that deep rich uh, depth out of this clear 
And I think this, just the heat allows it, uh, it just evaporates too fast. You can't work with it as easily. That's why I didn't do anything on this cab because I wanted to make sure that it's laying on there really solid. I wanted a nice, good first coat. And eh, it's left me just a little disappointed. So I'm waiting for a phone call back from the owner of Poppy's Patina to talk with him. Uh, but I really think it's just to do with this weather because I've applied this stuff a handful of times and it goes on perfect every single time. Yeah, you can see that a little bit better. Um, but it should give me a real thick clear and it's, it's pretty thin because I think it's evaporating uh, too fast in this heat. So on to the next thing. I saw this on TikTok, so I thought I'd try it. You don't have to throw out Sharpies as fast. You can sharpen them and pull the tip out so you get more. So let's see how that works. Dude, that was the Hudson fact of the day. <laughs> this is a TikTok. Yep, yeah, no, Hudson fact of the day. There it is. Bam, y'all been waiting for it. <laughs> You having fun? No. Well, now that's towards the end of the day, I'm gonna try and rearrange some stuff and move all these cars onto the side of the building so I can move this Viking out of the way and unload the trailer and all that. So that's what I'm gonna do for a little bit. And started old girl in a while. That's a pretty cool sight right there. Sisters. 330s, two Vikings, two diesel Mercedes, the old 60, 67. Man, that's cool. Let's check out Hudson's welds on these, on the F700. Look at that. So the cab corners are blown out, so we got replacement ones. Just having a spot weld, fill gaps. Takes a long time to do it, especially on these cab corners, it's a pain. <laughs> then we have the side step that we'll do, but we've already done the two front floor pans, seam sealed. We had to make those ourselves, we couldn't buy those. So cut those out, this side's looking good. And then sanding down all the red to bring this thing back to yellow. And we are ready to buy a donor truck for it. So super pumped on that. Thinking we'll probably just go Cummins on it. All right guys, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, whatever those hooligans say on the interwebs. But yeah, anyways, tune in for the next one. Uh, come back next time. Why am I saying come back next time? Like, they're obviously going to come back next time.